I'm going blind, I'm blind. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to Inflatable fans, I hope you're all well. Swan Dodger, aka Rough Paddling, is here. We're down at Ranby. That's the Chesterfield Canal, isn't it? It's all part of the yeah. It's all part of the Chesterfield Canal, just beyond that little ridge there. Our plan today is to get out on the water for a couple of hours. It is that time, 14:40 on a friday yes we're both rock and oh it's saturday now isn't it we're, we're not rock and roll rebels after all <laughs> anyway the plan is to get on the water for a couple of hours and then we're van camping there's um the love mobile <laughs> obviously and i'm in uh, my little trusty citroen and what we're doing is there is just up the road you might have seen it on the footage on the way in the checkers inn i think it's called uh, John's already rang and they said we can stay in the car park tonight. So basically, it's a paddle and pub trip, which sounds about the right thing to do to me. Right, let's get the boat set up. He's going in. We're both going a bit skegless today. We're not even bothering with dry suits at the minute. It is really quite mild. Over there, there are a lot of pigs. Here's my boat. That was quite a bit of random information. Are you ready to play? Ready to play. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to play. Oh, it's so good to have these without skates in. <laughs> Feels a bit rockier, does it? Of course, yeah. It doesn't have drift as well. Yeah. Off we go. So as I record this, this is the 30th of November and it is unseasonably mild 14 15 degrees which is why we're dressed like this and why I've got my sleeves rolled up it's a bit bonkers but good it'll be nice when these are in full leaf again but not today John's talking to his YouTube friends, a bit like me, so <laughs> so if you're not following him on YouTube, here's his uh, channel name. Oh, fish just jumped out of the water there, whatever it was. Don't know whether the camera caught it. These would be crap places to live, wouldn't they? Absolutely horrible. Look at that, I mean, who'd want to live there? What's this little Buddha thing? Hello, Buddha thing. Is it a little, does it one of those that pees on you? So what's that like without a skeg? It just goes <laughs> a lot more. But it's right, isn't it? Have you noticed the anti-climbing spikes on that pipe there? <laughs> They're spuds. They're mushrooms, aren't they? Well, that's a first. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's currently 3:10, and sunset is in about 40 minutes. So we're not going to be out long, not for this one anyway. <laughs> and somewhat bizarrely, the pub that we're staying at, well, that, uh, you see that camper van? That's parked in the car park for the pub. That's where we're staying tonight. 
We could have just paddled up there and got out. So do you still hate that easy light then, John? It's awful. <laughs> Rubbish boat! Yeah. Was Rubbish! Actually, I was actually just telling my many subscribers <laughs> how much every time I go out in it I enjoy it a bit more. <laughs> Good! Hopefully I, I will when I get one. <laughs> Not a bad place to moor, is it, next to a pub? <laughs> Alright, can't fault that. You want to have a fishing line over there? You could be making better use of your time. <laughs> Mind you, you got the right idea. Took us a pint of her. <laughs> No, nah, not far. We're uh, we're staying at car park tonight, so we'll be in there soon. Oh, right. <laughs> Mine's a pint of whatever's best. It's got to be done, hasn't it? We've got to go under the willow tree. Don't ask me why that had to be done. It's just a me thing. Been yapping for a bit and we've reached the A1 road bridge. It's quite a big bugger this. And somewhat lacking in graffiti. In fact, I would say the graffiti artists around here are lacking skill. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Yeah. So marks out of 10 for graffiti, one. Must try harder. <laughs> it is a surprise, because under just about every damn bridge you go, graffiti everywhere. Nice little bit of woodland. Yeah, a bit of backwards paddling. Spin it right. And then spin. <laughs> Got a winding hull here for canal boats to turn around. A little bit more exposed, a little bit breezier. Roughly where John is now, you can see some mooring pins on the right hand side. Not a bad spot for canal boats to moor. And there's a sign up there that says visit for moorings two days. So we've paddled up a little bit further. We kind of need to head back. It's 3.30, sunset in about 20 minutes. And uh, we've done, what have we done? We've done just, just shy of a mile. So not far. Just about to turn around and go back. And just to the side, just <laughs> beyond John there, a couple of swans just came into view and landed right in the path. <laughs> and he's not called Swan Dodger for nothing. They know it's you. We do. We're not going to have any problems with them anyway because they're. Uh, if they were going to have a go at us, they'd have been flying at us before now. And they haven't got any young. They're probably just hoping for some bread. <laughs> you alright back there? Scared. <laughs> See, they're already moving off in the opposite direction. It does look like a male female couple. There you go. Good on you. That's it. Oh, they've not gone for him. You <laughs> looked me in the eye. <laughs> Did you give you swan eye? Yeah. Anyway, plus side, we've got the wind behind us now. Always a bonus. Random geocache find! Well, I've just found a geocache underneath this bridge. It's one John found a little while ago. And as you can see, it's getting dark. <laughs> well, it is under this bridge anyway. So. We're going to head back and then go to the pub! 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 Quite an echo in here. Here, 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 here. Yeah, I know, I'm bloody stupid. <laughs> there we go, makes a change from the pylon, doesn't it? Yeah, phone mast. Nice! Anyway, let's get back so that I can get the van sorted and we can go to the pub. Right, we're back. Boat dry. Van set up, pub. And now 
on a long drive up the road to the pub. <laughs> there we go, pub. Yeah, this is one of those horrible places. We've got grub coming, but the good thing is, We've got beer and we've got a mandate. Cheers, sweetheart. Cheers. Crap night, crap food on date night, crap food. Crap company. <laughs> it's fair to say we've had a few beverages tonight. He's gone already. Well, John and I have had a good night yakking away in the Checkers Inn. Good service in there, great staff, and we've crashed out for the night, ready for the morning's paddle. So yeah, nice little van camp tonight in the car park at the Checkers Inn. See you in the morning. Day two, here we go. <laughs> Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Very festive. Or if Princess is still asleep. Right, let's get inflated. So I'm going back out in the Deschutes 110. Grandad 2.0's here in the Deschutes 130. Mr. Ruffles will be in the Easy Light. And then we've got Marion at the end, who will also be in an Easy Light. Done. So what we've got here <coughs> is the Aquaglide Deschutes 110, which is mine. 130 which is Grandad 2.0's uh, and I've just stood them well stacked laid them side by side so I've lined the thwarts up and the footrest is roughly in the same position but what you've got is you've just got a little bit longer at the front and a little bit more at the back yeah interesting comparison because I've been looking at getting one of the uh, the 130's because if you're a follower of this channel, you know I love this boat a lot. I'm taking it out without the skeg today. Let's go and have some fun. Look at the seat he's put in this. Where did you get this from, Raj? Uh, sandbanks, I think. Sandbanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like he's got, well, we've been calling it the Parker Null. <laughs> I thought uh, John's was bad, the one that he had in his other boat, but bloody hell. So this is a drop stitch seat. Personally don't like it because it's a bit hard, but like uh, Nige says, you can actually take this out, park it on the floor and it becomes your camping seat, so not a bad idea. But it makes that boat look really top heavy. <laughs> so I haven't got the skeg in again today, I'm going dirty. <laughs> yeah, it will feel very different. Nigel thinks he'll be taking, he took a swim on our last trip out uh, and he might be doing it again today because that seat is considerably higher. Do you want to swap that seat over, Nige? Are you, are, are you going to chance it? Oh, I'm going to try it. Right, I'm okay. I'm going to try it, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's definitely loads more to here. Oh, massively. <laughs> it's amazing how a change in height affects the uh, centre of gravity. The feeling of it. Yeah, mass oh, massive. Oh, massive. I'm going in, I'm going in. Especially with dog. <laughs> So Frank hasn't put his skeg in either, he's decided to give it a go without it. So we're the drifters today. So we've decided to go the same direction John and I went in yesterday, predominantly because the wind is coming at us now. And it'll make it a bit easier for coming back. A little bit brighter than it was at the end of yesterday, eh, viewers? <laughs> Might be able to tell from the uh, skies, it's a bit murky, a bit drizzly, there may be the odd splash on the camera lens, which I might not notice. So yeah, 
Sorry, I'll, I'll apologise in advance. Let's get that out of the way. It is kind of weird seeing the two easy lights and the two to shoot. <laughs> Where are you going, Frank? <laughs> He's drifting. I'm rudderless. <laughs> So this is Frank's first time paddling without a skeg and it does take a little bit of getting used to. So we're just approaching the Checkers Inn where John and I slept last night. See that camper van on the left? We were pitched up, parked up I should say, right next to that. Great little spot this. Good food. Paid uh, 15 99 I think it was, for fish and chips each. And several beers. Yeah, several beers. <laughs> and maybe a couple of rum and cokes, maybe, you know. <laughs> yes, good night, good night. You could hear the A1 that you can probably hear in the background a little bit, of background noise. You could hear the A1 from here, but it wasn't annoyingly so. Go on Frank, underneath the willow. <laughs> so we're back at the A1 road bridge and I'm curious as to why there's a TV aerial up there. Well, that's what it looks like. How odd. Back under the A1, the area of crap graffiti. Um, I've given this a little bit of thought and I think it's largely because it's not very urban around here. So the best they've got is that. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Get him. <laughs> Get him. Did he fall off? He did. <laughs> He's a good swimmer though. Oh, I'll do a couple of miles. Go on, boy. He's got some pace on him. <laughs> and he's in. <laughs> so we've done just over a mile so far. A little bit drizzly. Can't even take shelter under any trees now, the leaves have gone. <laughs> it is nice around here, it's a nice little area this. You can hear the A1 in the background, but it's still very pleasant. Ooh, there's a bridge. See if we can get a bit of shelter under there from this rain. Leave them two silly sods to get wet, eh? Yeah, John and I are doing the sensible thing. Okay, so I bought myself a little toy to have some fun with on the water. Ha <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, I love it. A lot of leaf debris in the water down here. Good job I haven't got the Ethan in today. <laughs> We're further away from the roads here, it's a lot quieter. So we've reached the, uh, the lock area. So let's moor up, stretch our legs. And it's in. <laughs> no, Indy. <laughs> Come here. Woohoo! <laughs> Around the island. Right, let's go under. See if we can get it under the bridge. Or will it get stuck? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right, see if we can get back up the bridge. I'm very blind, I'm blind. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so here's the other one that I've got, the other toy to play with today. 
little <laughs> tank. It's all it is amphibious, so we'll see how this one gets in on in the water. Wee! I don't think this one will have anywhere near the power that the other one's got. No, it hasn't. This one won't. <laughs> We're going under, we're going under. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Picked up a stowaway. <laughs> Picked up a stowaway. <laughs> He's jumped on. If we get stable in there, won't, won't you? Ah, oh, it's fine. You can, I mean, you can feel it moving around. You can feel the difference of the, the balance, but not disturbingly so. <laughs> it is quite a different experience having uh, Indy on here. Because <laughs> I've never paddled with a dog on before. But the great thing is, this Deschutes is just so damn stable, it's not, uh, it's not an issue. Hardest thing is, I don't want to put the camera on the side in case he knocks it in, so I've just got it sort of like sat in the middle at the minute on the floor. And considering this floor is a little bit spongy, it is bouncing around a bit, so I don't know what the uh, image stabilisation will be like. Even with him on, in this to shoot, I've had this up to three and a half miles an hour. It does not create a bit of a bow wave because obviously he's pushing the front of the boat down, but it's still doable. Three miles an hour just at the minute. 3.1, 3.3. Three point four. Yeah, back at three point five. Not bad with a dog on the front and no skeg. He's just jumped in. I think I should tie the rope around him and get him to pull me. <laughs> By my reckoning, he's doing about two mile an hour. Not bad. Right, so we're not far off back from where we started, really. Um, the next couple of videos, I'm going to do a couple of other things. I'm going to fill this boat, the Aquaglide Deschutes, with water because I want to test to see whether, with me in it, whether it would actually sink or not. This is based on something that uh, Fifi LaBelle said, because he says he thinks it will. I don't think it will, so the only one way to find out. I'm also going to test out this Job Gillet PFD, a bit like the Baltic Flipper that you've seen me test out before as well, that I've used before. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a dunk test with this. I might do a bit of practice getting in and out of the uh, Deschutes as well while it's wet. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio.